Good morning. The Netherlands, they have an election today for the parliament. I, no, I think elections today are much more exciting than they were. In the past it was like, is the country moving right or is it moving left? Pretty dull stuff, I think. Important, yes, I know, but pretty dull. Today, we're talking about freedom, right? <laughs> much more exciting. How much pressure is on the politicians not to restrict our freedom? How much pressure is coming from the people? That's what excites me. See? No. And it's much harder today, isn't it? Because most of these politicians will happily restrict our freedom. They are globalists. And then there's a few, <laughs> maybe none, you know, who say, oh, freedom, maybe we shouldn't do this. We shouldn't restrict people's freedom. You know. So it's much harder and more exciting. And then, of course, we have this question, will the election be rigged? <laughs> That's also quite exciting, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I hear good things, you see, from the Netherlands. I don't know if this is correct, but I believe it is. Uh, the people of the Netherlands, they are waking up very quickly. That's what I hear. Do you know something about this? I was reading this uh, article about a lady who's very, very scared. I was thinking, you know, they are, we're talking about the top globalists. No, Mark Rutte in the Netherlands, he resigned, right? And he can't walk out. That's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. This is the price they pay. You can spot a top globalist from a long distance because they have security guards, right? And that's the life they live. Well, they can't walk out. Well, they can say, oh, I would like to go down to the cafe you know, and have a cup, cup of coffee. They can't do it. That's a huge price to pay. They say, oh, I want to take the bus today. They can't, see? That's right. So I was reading this article about one of these ladies. Well, it's a lady. Her name is uh, Bonnie Henry. Bonnie Henry in British Columbia, Canada. Uh, she was leading British Columbia. She was the health officer. She was leading British Columbia through the pandemic, you know. And people don't like this lady at all. I remember her. I, I think I mentioned her in some earlier video. Right. Now, listen to what she's saying. There are many people who don't like what I do. I feel quite able to send me nasty notes, to leave phone calls harass my staff. And, you know, listen, I had security in my home. I had death threats. So she's very scared. And somebody told me about this, right? She's dead scared about walking around in, with people, you know, being close to people. She's so scared. Just imagine this, this is a huge price. Of course it is. She says she believes it's partly because she's a woman. Yeah, right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Of course, I want this price to be higher. Much, much higher. But they are paying a price already. And then I thought about the normies. They are paying a price too, aren't they? They are so scared all the time. And just imagine the life they live. You know, the authorities tell them, you, you should wear the mask now. Oh, they put the, put the mask on. And then the authorities, yeah, you can take it off now. Oh, they take it off. Some leave it on, anyway. And this is, so they are wearing the mask. So what, what would they do if the authorities told them to have it on all the time? They would do it, wouldn't they? 
Now that's a high price to pay. You have this mask covering your face. Maybe all the time. When you're sleeping, when you're eating, see? Well, and first of all, you look like an idiot all the time. You never looked normal. You have this thing covering your face, right? And it's harder to breathe. See? And then their immune system is messed up. It's a high price to pay, right? And then you compare this to us. What a difference. We are walking uh, with our heads held high. We are not backing down to anything. That's a life. Of course. And we tell them to sod off with their fear, fear porn nonsense. Right? Sod off. We don't care about what you're saying. That's a life, you know. <laughs> you no, know, I th I thought about us this morning. I was having breakfast, and I fried bacon. You know. and I was looking at this very f delicate piece of bacon. You know, and it was just wonderful. I thought, we are like bacon, aren't we? <laughs> Just imagine the world without us. It's impossible almost to think to consider this, don't you think? Just take us out of this world, okay? So just imagine that we didn't exist. That would be a world where everybody was obedient, right? Nobody questioned authority. Everybody was doing what they were told. Uh, what kind of a world would that be? You know, terrible. That's right. So we are like bacon, because bacon makes everything better. <laughs> that was my thought. That's right, isn't it? I don't know if you like bacon, but I do. So you have uh, an orange, right? And the orange, well, it's okay, right? But then you have orange with bacon piece of bacon, and the orange will taste much better, you know, or a banana, or anything. Anything will be better with bacon. <laughs> Eggs, of course, anything. So that's us. We are the bacon of this world. Alright, be good.